What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Filled up 2019 Tops Update Series Baseball Doubleheader Dual Jumbo and Hobby Case Break. Random teams number one, plus the silver packs in each box. So, 28 total spots, two combo spots. Uh, we'll first break all the hobby boxes and the jumbos, and then all the silver packs. And then at the per all participants, we'll get at least 40 random veteran base cards from this break per, per spot. And then no other veteran base cards will ship. Just remember, guys, give us an extra day or two to sort this out as well. It's going to be two full cases. And then we did have a uh, 8x10 that uh, got six spots in this break here. So the combo teams were uh, Tigers, Diamondbacks, and Marlins, Rockies. So make it 28. And then customers here with a little character at the end of their name won these spots in the 8x10. So this will be a little pretty long break, guys. So sit back and relax. At least watch the next half of this Raven Seahawks game and a little bit more. Good luck, everybody. Let's roll the dice. We have a six and a four. Ten times. Good luck. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And tenth and final time. Jacob, down to Charles. And then we got 10 times here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and tenth amount of time. A's, down to the Pirates. So, Jacob, you have the A's, Tony with the Cubs, John, you have the Orioles, Terry with the Padres, uh, Terry Jefferson, so Terry Boston with the Padres, Terry Jefferson with the Brewers, Mark with your spot in the 8x10 Giants, Stacy, you have the Tigers D-backs combo, Elvis with the Braves, Dennis with a, free, with a spot in the 8x10, Seattle Mariners, Patrick 8x10, Royals, Sean with the Mets, John Gibb with the Blue Jays, um, uh, Fotoyas with the Marlins and Rockies combo, Mark with the spot in the 8x10 Minnesota Twins. Aaron with the Nationals. Mark, White Sox. Terry Boston with the Rangers. Elvis with the Rays. Mark, Dodgers. John with the Angels. Uh, Mark with the Indians. Bill with the Reds. Sean, Astros. Terry with the Cardinals. Mark, you have the Yankees. Joseph with the Red Sox. Mary Lou with the Phillies. And Charles B. with the Pirates. So I will allow trades, of course. If we get a lot of trade activity, I'll extend it a little bit more. But if not, we'll close it and start ripping. Can you look at my camera for a second? Yeah. yeah. Um, I guess it'll be alright there. Yeah. I just want to make sure. Yeah, you can see it. Everything's on camera. Yeah. It should be right. I think it should be okay right there. I mean, right there, yeah. Um, I don't know if we can. I think when we, I think that what we say, Terry, is that if Stacy wants to trade, I think she has to trade the combo team, not just one out of the combo teams. So she would have to trade the Tigers and D-backs for whatever team you're offering. Wins for trademark saying. Oh, Nick can't work right here, too. Oh, yeah, it does not. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay.
Nobody else? I think I'm just gonna close it right now, guys. I don't know if you heard Stacy. Oh, damn. Yeah, I was gonna say, was, well, you didn't know he was there, but still. Yeah, I know, I see that. Alright, let's just close it then. What's up, Logan? <laughs> and the nickel. <laughs> Alright, guys, stick with what you got. Appreciate it. There, I got XR Colts. Alright, so there is the, uh, that's the hobby case. So we'll do hobby first. Jumbo's like 10 times easier. <laughs> yeah? It is, yeah. Alright, so but let's do this later. That's all good. Yeah, Joe opened up a hobby case. He didn't have an auto. It was kind of crazy. Oh, yeah, I was here for that. He was like, what? Two hours and no auto? <laughs> oh, jeez. Ready to just click out of this? Yeah, you just hit OK. And then maybe a couple times. Yeah. There you go. All right. There you go. Yeah, I saw Emmanuel Sanders. Oh, yeah, he's on the trading block, right? Packers are talking about him. I know, they didn't have anybody. Although, Allison and the other guy played today. Scantling. But they're good, though. I mean, they're not nobodies, but somebody's a nobody if at one point. If those two didn't play, then the rest, like, the other guys, like, Alan Lazard. The other guys, Jake Camaro, or whatever. Yeah, yeah. I'll just rip open one for you, and yeah, then I'll rip open for me, and then you can do the rest. Well, you know what? This camera moves. Just move it this way. Yeah, you can tilt it from that yeah, point, too. Yeah. yeah, that's right. And then it kind of just, like, well, it moves a little itself, bit. Yeah. All right, then we'll do the silver packs at the end. One of my wife's cousins was actually at that game today. Flew out to Green Bay. He said it's so much cheaper to fly into Chicago, though. And then he yeah. said he drives like two hours. Green Bay's really tiny. Yeah. Or Milwaukee, maybe. Could yeah, he said Milwaukee's good, too. He goes, but for some reason, he said Chicago's like really cheap. Yeah, I drove from Chicago to Milwaukee. And they had this place called Mars Cheese Castle. Uh-huh. Oh, that's, that's right. That's been. Didn't one customer, like, I don't know, randomly just give us a whole box of cheese? Yeah, it, it, it was Todd Reardon. It was somebody. It was like random, and then I really liked the cheese bread he gave us yeah. something. I don't know. It was just weird. No, it was just a whole store, a whole castle dedicated to cheese. <laughs> and it was just right on the highway. It's funny. Someone asked her, but we haven't hit no logo mans right out of Immaculate yet. I don't think so. Not right. Yeah. Gold label. Everything should. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, we gotta watch out for that Robert. There's two of them with the same name. Two Terry's? No, two Robert. So oh. put that post it up. Why was there a mistake? No, he's saying that just so okay. she's double checking, but just for us to put like their on this show at the end what the state it is. I've never even seen that one. Yeah. Did it? Is there two pennies in the NFL now? Yeah, Elijah and Rashad. I was gonna say because I was like, this is not the Rashad penny that the Seahawks have, right? No, the other Elijah's one that plays. Elijah's on. Forget Cardinals. Yeah, I was like, what the hell? There's another penny, or he got traded? Yeah, Chase Edmonds. David jo people thought David Johnson would play, but then he barely played. Uh huh. And Chase Edmonds got all the all the touchdowns. Alrighty, guys.
Eric Swanson to 1920. And then we'll pass even top low most of these off camera. Clemente. Estrada. See, I feel like some of these I recognize them that the short prints are not. Yeah, you can. Joe spotted it. Like, it was like Johnny Bench, like yeah. black and white or something. And divisional foes will do left or right from the back at the end of the break. And then that's who they'll go to. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. rookie. Luplo. Thomas Lane, Paul DeJong to 1920, or 2019, sorry. Pete Alonzo, rookie. Austin Riley. Another Pete Alonzo. Eloy Jimenez for the White Sox. David Dahl to 150. So when they're rookies like this, they sell better, right? Yeah, Maybe? the gold foil. But yeah, some of the rookies, like, if you get a PSA 10. Well, yeah, someone said that the, the Vlads are going for like 250, 350, but the short prints or the variations or something. Yeah. But see, I get confused with these because Nick Anderson, rookie. Um, so I'm like, which one is more of a short print when they're all like all star game and then it's yeah, like. Yeah, I don't know. I was like, it's also a game where, like, home run derby. I'm like, jeez. Labor Torres. Houston. Pete Alonzo home run derby. Atavino. Darwin's and Hernandez. Willie Stargell. And then some of these uh, iconic cards will be numbered, so hopefully try to catch as many. But the shipping team is A1, guys. They'll catch anything that we may have missed that is numbered. Here's a Vlad. Me or Joe would have missed. And then these are the stack of cards that we'll be paying Steven top loading. Put it on here to the side for now. So I'm still in box one, guys. Remember, this is Hobby and Jumbo together, so we'll take us about like two hours, guys. So, sit back and relax. Eloy Jimenez. Thornton. And here's a relic. First one is James McCann for the White Sox. All-Star Game Relic. Tatis, Vlad, Home Run Derby. Saints punishing the Bears on special teams is getting ugly? Really? Didn't Cordero Patterson have a special teams touchdown? Or was I mistaken?
Rookie, John Means to 150 gold. Cole Tucker for the Pirates. Biggio, Bowers, Dawson, and then we got record setting breaking month Cody Bellinger to twenty nineteen. So this will be the end of the first box, guys. We still have 11 boxes to go. <laughs> Castro. 2,000 RBIs. packs right here just put them like over here and then Nick already had ripped open a couple boxes for me so let's just slide this over and then there's one box right here right there next box oh we got a black Nick Hundley to 67 can you see the black ones anything lower We'll do as well. Shohei Otani. See. see, why is he why is he a rookie in here though? Have you that notice that? Weird. I don't know. Maybe it's a misprint, or it's just a. Oh, uh, like update. It's one of those greatest so, no. rookies cards. In the 1984 design, I think. 1380, yeah. Well, no, see, that's the thing. It has the regular back. Because that's in the style of... Yeah, 84, right? 84. Yeah. I guess so there's only... Have I, a bunch of them. You they know what? Like, I, I guess that's like the, the only... Like the Trout, the update one, maybe. Well, I guess that's the only one that they ever made of him. <laughs> right? Because yeah. he's only, like, his second year. Yeah. Freeman. To 2019. I think the Bears. I know someone said they're getting killed in special teams. I'm like, didn't Quero Patterson have like a touchdown return? It's like 105 yards or something. Yeah, Bears always have a dangerous return. Manny Machado. Orlando Cepeda. Andrew McCutcheon to 299. Jackie Robinson. That's cool. See, like, this looks like a short print. I've never seen this one. Yeah, it's a short print. Yeah. The base have the 010 code. So. Oh, okay. That's what we've been sorting by. Okay. You playing the drum set? It's kind of yeah, I know. Yeah. Guerrero. Oh, that was still going. Beatley. I think Jordan Howard to have like 20 points. Just I know, dude. Just, just rush it in. Either start him or Sony Michelle. What do people think? I know. That's a hard one, too. Tatis Jr. I feel like these are always together. Yeah, I was gonna add some because it started out quiet, but maybe it's just because we were early, I guess. Yeah. Because then the double header sold out, the prism. But I might add some in there once we finish this one up for later tonight or something. Yeah, or tomorrow or tomorrow Monday. Yeah. 
And we got Josh Bell, Pirates All-Star Game logo. I mean, uh, Jersey. Charles. Eloy Jimenez. Hand. Curry Wood or Carry Wood. So weird seeing Ingram with twenty one. I know, not in the Saints. Yeah. Pete Alonzo. Oh, were you able to get anything Friday? No. I actually slept. I didn't wake up. I was like, no. It was like nine. I was like, jeez. No, no, I, I, I couldn't sleep that night because I couldn't sleep and then I was like, no. We'll have some though. Yeah. Nick Sensel. Yeah, thanks, Logan. Hopefully. Greatest player is Vladimir Guerrero, Jr. I think they could pick up the W for sure. Just got to see it happen. Yeah, the Cowboys favored by two, so it's going to be a nail biter. Matt Festa, for 2019. Although, Vikings are favored by three, and then. Yeah. Who's that? that Helsley. I don't Alshon Jeffrey play running out of bounds. Um, yeah, the I don't know why. Yeah, and it was went through it right like perfect in stride. He just, he just lost his balance. Because that would have been twenty four twenty four I think. Oh well. Long season. Yeah, I know. So I just hate the numbers that go like, if they, the Eagles lose tonight, they have a twenty percent chance to make the playoffs. If they like win, they, it's seventy five. I think like they made it last year with like three and five. I yeah. think. It's just they play, they play the Patriots coming up, yeah. the Seahawks, the Bears, and the Bills. Four really tough games. But then after that, they play the Dolphins, the Redskins, the Giants, twice, and Dallas again. All right. Let's put this over there. Slide this one over. So if they go like three and two in these next five games, I think they'll be fine. Pete Alonzo. Is that, I think Dallas has to play New England too. They're strawberry. Yeah, they have to play them too. They're playing all the same players. Same ones for the well, most they came part. In first place, so they yeah, they'll play, play a little. Place yeah, they'll play a little different, I think. But for the division for the wise, part, yeah. yeah, Adam Jones, they should be playing the same ones. Yeah, I play the Dolphins. So it's good. Oh, dude, I, I was seeing Lamar earlier. He had, he ran like on, on a third and ten. It's like not even fair. I know. It's like <laughs> he's so fast. He was always a running back out of the draft. And they're not bad for a running back. Yeah. Josh Bell. Cano for the Mets. Okay, the Mets win MVP now. Oh, sorry. No. Maybe Rodgers or something. I can't remember the last time Rodgers won MVP. A few years ago. It's been a while, yeah. It's because he's like... He's due to get injured. <laughs> he well, got hit hard today, like by the Raiders. And like his prime years were like Manning, Broncos. Yeah. You know, where Manning broke the record, and then Brady. Gutierrez. I just want to. I just want Demarcus Lawrence to not have any sacks, even though he might now, just because we said that. He but has, like Tucker. He has no sacks, career sacks against. Yeah, him. and he's gonna get one, and he's gonna start talking all this smack. He told Doug yeah, Peterson to shut I up. I was like, what? And then when they signed Wentz, he tweeted something out. Yeah, he tweeted about money. Yeah. Like, the more money they make, the more humble yeah. it is when I sack him or something. Yeah. Zero sacks. 
So you're not to go up against Dillard, so hopefully Dillard goes good. See, no one will talk about that, though. Really well. That's what I'm saying. Like, if he yeah. does well, it's not a bad draft pick. It's just, yeah. it's not exciting. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like, uh... Well, like, casual fans don't yeah. look at the offensive line. Even though it's, like, the most important part. Yeah. Oops. And they just look at... CC? They look at sacks, but they don't look at, like, QB pressure. Like, if the Eagles had a way better secondary, they'd lead the league in sacks. Yeah. Dylan Moore. I saw Ramsey today. He's just he's awesome. I know he's caused a fumble. Yeah, he's so awesome. And he only played like half. And I'm just like he's talking trash to to Julio. And I don't see that's why I wanted him more than like Patrick Peterson because I forget Patrick Peterson's already gonna be thirty. He's thir- yeah, and Chris Harris is thirty one. Yeah, I'm like they're good Those for guys now. Are rentals. Chris Harris is, yeah. is on a one year deal, and yeah. Peterson is on like huge deal. I think. Yeah, so it's just money. Yeah. And Major League Chris Sale, Boston Red Sox. Game use memorabilia as well. And Chris Harris is just a slot corner, so. Yeah. I, don't know. I guess, like, you want to win now, I guess. Well, Ramsey can be there for, like, the next 10 years. Did you see the Yankees game? Though? Alonzo? No, I did. I was actually at the Kings wild. game. Wild. Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot. <laughs> but, uh, no, my brother, because I told my brother, oh, did you see this Kings thing? Because I wasn't even watching the baseball game. He's like, I'm watching the baseball game. I was like, oh, Plantier. Yeah, because in the ninth they tied it, right? They were down. The Yankees were down two. Then Lemayhew hit a two-run home run. Yeah. And then bottom of the ninth, Altuve hit a bomb. I know. I, I got my my brother texted me. He's like, yeah. "Oh, it's over." I was like, "Damn." I was hoping it would go like. Remember last year's Dodgers Red Sox won like sixteen innings. Oh yeah, I was sorry. hoping it was one of those games. Reynolds. Just like twenty innings. Faster. I don't even know if there's been, because the NLCS was all blowouts. Yeah. And the ALCS was kind of... Grandall block for that last game. to 67. There was yeah. no extra inning games. Hopefully in the World Series. I think the World Series is really good. Yeah, they match up pretty well. The Nationals, I know They're the just Nationals so really hot good, right now. The Nationals are so hot, though. Yeah. They just came in right Is at the right time. Wolf Farrell thing. Oh, yeah. It's so hot right now. <laughs> yeah. He's like, it's that damn so Hansel. Right he's, he's at the theater or whatever. Yeah. It's uh, from uh, Zoolander. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The damn Hansel. He's so hot right now. <laughs> Yeah, you got, I mean, Soto, you know, Rendon is awesome. And, I mean, Verlander Cole matches up pretty well with Scherzer. Trevor May. I mean, those guys, maybe a slight nod to Astros, but pretty even. Yeah, because I never realized how big Soto is. Now he's a beast. He's awesome, yeah. Ken Griffey Jr. It's just all these guys. It's crazy how all these guys like aren't drafted. They're international free agents. Yeah, and like they're like Vlad on a Jr. they're on a seven year, seventy million yeah. dollar deal. Yeah. <laughs> all right, next box, guys. It's like Acuna, Vlad, Soto. It's like not even worth having good draft picks anymore. Dan Musil. The number Pete Alonso. The one thing you never see in baseball, they don't trade draft picks. Yeah, I was going to say that they, they don't, right? Because yeah. it's not like... I guess it's not as much because... No, the MLB draft... It takes really a while good. for them to get good. Yeah. You know? If they're not, like, super good already. MLB draft... Grow Jr. I don't... I don't it just confuses me. Yeah, they have, like, three, four drafts, too. Yeah. Well, I know they have one for, like... Is it, like, college and then straight and out of high just, school and yeah, then... Yeah, it sucks when, like, you draft <laughs> Kyler Murray and then he goes to football. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. And then you have, like, the international draft. And then they get compensation picks and all that. Yeah, next year's rookie class is going to be really good. I know, dude. My Ducks like came Alvarez, back. Aquino. Oh, for the, oh, yeah, for the baseball, right? Yeah. yeah. That's right. Yeah, that yeah, Aquino dude hasn't been year. around either. Yeah, he's not in a lot of stuff. And then, like, Joe Adele. Marcus Stroman for the Blue Jays. Um, Gavin Lux, Dodgers. And then, well, you think if Wander gets called up, would he be an RC now? Or probably have to wait another. When they call him up. If he gets called up like mid season, they'll probably save him. For next year? Two years from now, yeah. I don't think, I don't know. I don't think he's even played in double or triple. Yeah. But the Rays are really good, so maybe they. Carter Key Boom. Maybe they push him up. It's like Joe Dell wasn't projected to come out this upcoming year, but he's been playing. 
Pete Alonzo. And there's always guys like Pete Alonzo that comes out of nowhere. Yeah, I, I thought McNeil was bigger at, than him at one point. Yeah. <laughs> Alonzo just started killing it. He just kept hitting bombs. And yeah, football two had surgery. Strowman. To 50. Oh, yeah, he's going to be out for a couple weeks now. Yeah. Um, Trevor Lawrence isn't playing well, so I don't even know. I know, dude. Heisman. Herbert did well yesterday. I don't know if he'll win the Heisman, but Herbert played well. They came back yesterday. It'll probably be that LSU be Washington. Bo Burrows. Oh, yeah. He's going to be a rookie, too. A lot of people like him. Yeah, because, like, yesterday, Herbert and that Jacob Easton's good for Washington. Yeah. And then you have, like, all those other guys over uh, there. Oh, uh, I forgot about Jalen Hurts. Yeah. yeah, Hurts is still doing well. You see the you see the horses on yeah. Oklahoma, <laughs> man. That le- so Gus Johnson from Fox was like, "Look at that rolling." He's like, <laughs> she was like just commentating on her rolling. I was like, "Wow, Johnny Bench." I must have seen that clip like a hundred times. <laughs> I showed it to Vanessa Thoggy, and she's like, "Whoa!" Yeah, and then Peta tweeted out. Oh really? Oh, like, of course. You know, yeah. Animals can be used as that. Because did you Shoot. see the? I think it was Mississippi State. The bulldog got hit. Oh, did, did you see that clip? No, I didn't see that so one. So the bulldog's on the sideline, and it's got, like, its handler. Oh, no. And then this guy comes in, like this, I think it was LSU or some team, and the guy's helmet goes right into the bulldog. But Jeez. then the bulldog took it like a champ. He didn't even fall <laughs> down, barely. Yeah. <laughs> Someone's like, it hurt the player more than the bulldog. Oh, nice. Vlad, 84. Blue Jays, John. And then someone's like, that guy should be ejected for targeting. Yeah. Rizzo. I know. I was looking at. Ch- I seen the highlights. The horses though. didn't get hurt. I don't think. No, they they just kept on running. I think they, I see the guy running after the horses. Yeah. yeah TJ, it, it looked pretty bad. I mean, I don't know if I was there, I would be laughing, like you know, but like it's just like even Gus Johnson was like you know kind of making fun of her or the two people that fell. I didn't know who were those people though, TJ. I didn't really like know who they actually were. I think it's happened before too, right? Yeah. Well, I mean, it's it's, it's dangerous, you know. It, yeah. it really is. No, Jorge that, Polanco. That guy took like, a sharp turn. Yeah. And they finally released the video. Did you see that of uh, the ex Oregon Duck coach, I mean player Keenan oh, Lowe, yeah, that was crazy. like disarming that kid? It's like damn. It's the Eagles coach too. Yeah. And he had an Eagles shirt on. Yeah. He was like a Chip Kelly assistant. Jock Peterson. For now, Tatis Jr. I know. That's, I would. It would have been crazy to bet on that game. Yeah. I know the mattress guy bet another million dollars. I'm like, man, this guy's loaded. It's like I need it's, to get into that business. Not even fun, <laughs> interesting because he's just loaded. So it's like big deal if he loses. All right, guys. Cool. Wow, we got a thick one. Oh, that's the medallion. Looks like. That Tatis medallion auto was cool. Cool. Oh, the auto? Yeah. That was nice. It came all jacked up, though, so I told the guy, like... Okay, yeah. Tony Perez. It's probably those. Oh, well, they're thicker cards, yeah. yeah. I was like, there's no way I damaged that. <laughs> I was like, it came straight out of the back like that. There you go, Cincinnati Reds with that one. Uh, Bill. Yeah, the wagon thing. The crash. I didn't hear Ghost Johnson. Yeah, he was calling the game. 
You gotta, you gotta look at. It, I mean, he was just. I know he was making fun of them because he was just like, "Look at her rope." Yeah. I was like, "Damn, dude, chill." Well, I guess it's like NASCAR. Like people yeah. root for crashes as long as they're okay. Yeah, I know. That's one thing I always know. People are like, "Oh, I want to go see a crash." I was like, "Okay, that's not what it's about." Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, okay though. Like people have died from NASCAR crashes before, but it's a little different than that. Phil Hodges. Those people aren't wearing helmets. Yeah, between that and the Bulldog. It was not good. Pete Alonzo, Festa. <laughs> Murphy. Can't say I was looking at that. <laughs> I was just like, whoa. Yeah. Thornton. To 76. Blue Jays rookie. If you think about it, it's got to be hard to do on a football field, too. Oh, yeah. Like those types of those wheels? That chassis. Yeah, <laughs> that's like old school wagon. It's not like all these nicer ones. Tatis, the family business. Did you see that stack? Which one? I don't know. If, no, this. Oh. I don't know if this is this one. I just want to oh, that's fine. Yeah. I don't really know what it is, so. I don't know all the photos by heart, but it just looks like me. David Dahl. I know, it's just one of those debuts. Those oh, yeah, yeah. I didn't, you didn't see the whole Logan <laughs> that you're talking about. Whoa, still is all, like, looking at it like this, it looks like he's all crooked. Muncie. Like he's up his life. <laughs> <laughs> Tatis Jr. Rookie debut, rookie card. Home run derby, Vlad rookie. Joe Morgan. <laughs> Melky Cabret, man, he's still around. Yeah. Twenty nineteen. <laughs> I remember that one year he had, it was so good and it's like, oh, got popped. <laughs> it's like yeah. Yankees fan like Homer Bailey. Will Smith for the Dodgers. I think everyone makes a big deal about the Yankees not winning this decade, but I know that I seen that it's stat like, yesterday. Like it's not that far. Away. Yeah, but I guess it's like when they pay that much. First time, yeah. Them to I was like, plus they won so much like in the earlies. Like, yeah. there were like how many teams were there? In the twenties. <laughs> it's twenty-seven World Series. Yeah, it's like how many teams were there back then? Yeah. But yeah, that's kind of interesting though. I think they might have won every decade. Maybe that's what they were saying. Or at least they represented in every decade. Yeah, but they I won guess, the pennant in every decade, yeah. probably. I, I picked them to beat the Astros. Brantley. Brantley made a sick play, too. He made a double play. Oh. Uh-huh. It was like he dove for the ball, and then Judge was tagging up, thinking it was going to fall, but then picked it up and chucked it at first. Jeez. And beat out Judge. Oh! Did they catch that? Wow. You got hit hard when you threw it, though. You getting hit all day. Pete Alonzo. They don't care about his offensive line. <laughs> yeah. And now Houston's offensive line is like good. Thompson's Ooh. like the best tackle in the league this year so far. Oh, really? Laramie they Thompson? graded him, yeah. For what, a PFF or whatever. Catfish Hunter. This one, I don't know if this one's a sharp, but it looks like one. Or at least an image variation, but we won't even know, huh? Well, you can see the code. I don't know if you can see it, though. Where's the code at? Bottom right here. Oh, it tells you right there? If it ends in 010, it's a face. Oh, and then if it's not, then it's another one? Yeah. Oh. Huh. That's how we've been sorting it. Okay. I don't know that. There's a few numbers that you know are short print. Okay. 
No, I'll look at that whenever I think. Uh, crazy for sports cards. I mean, yeah, if like if it's like a short print or something like that. But I think in the description we said that you just randomly get forty veteran inserts or veteran base cards. Sorry. What team you have? If you had the brace, I can tell them to pop in a couple. Yeah. That could be our one request of the break. Yeah, I'd be like, you got it. Josh Bell. Nelson Cruz. Houston. See, I feel like the blue is also like a type of variation, isn't it? This one ends with like 0, 7, 8, but that's different, huh? Yeah. They have special, like, hobby exclusive borders and stuff. Yeah, you can shoot us an email, Alvis. That's, that's cool. Vlad. I can't guarantee all of them because when they sort it, they sort it on the back, just looking for short prints, but... And then, yeah, so... And then we pull out 40... 40 cards just randomly and then assign it to each team. So if you have two spots, you'll probably get 80. Bias. Pete Alonzo. I know. I seen the Sunday. I was like, all right, we're doing this. <laughs> I was like, on the website. Oh, I put it Sunday. Sunday. Yeah, I was like, we're doing this. Because I couldn't this. help Joe yesterday. So yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah. I better not have him do it. <laughs> <laughs> no, he, he wouldn't even. <laughs> yeah. he'd, he'd say, yeah, everything's canceled at like three. Yeah. <laughs> Five to nine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it, not just Joe, it would take anybody. No, I know. Yeah, it would. Uh, if he has no help, just ripping it. Oh yeah, they look cool. County. Oh yeah. Yeah, we're gonna hang stuff on. What's well, what I figured? At least utilize like as much as yeah, you can. Yeah, the space. It actually, looks, I mean, we're pretty much done now. So. Well, yeah, that's what I, that's what I was telling people because they were like, "Oh, it's, there's still more construction." Like, now it's not construction. Now it's just, just filling up the yeah. store. Mike Mustakas for the Brewers, really. Yeah, all the construction is like walls. <laughs> Pete Alonzo. Now we just need to hang some of the art stuff. Max Muncy. Some dude came in earlier. It yeah, was like, so oh, from South Bay. Ha there hasn't been a car shop in South Bay in so long. Someone said, so a friend referred him. I wonder who it was. Oh, yeah. Saying, oh, my friend joined the breaks. And so Willie Mays. Out. Oh, really? Oh, nice. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to stack these. These, you can tell which ones are jumbo because yeah. the stacks are bigger. Yeah, yeah. So. No worries. I don't know. We don't need to keep this up. Strata. This seems to be all the silver packs from the 12 boxes right here. Alright, Mike Moustakas. Garrett Hampson.
Tim Beckham, Willie Mays. All right, let's go to the next box right here. Yeah, we're halfway through the hobby case. Oh, Lamar's gone. Jeez. He has like over 100 yards already at least. I think he has like more now though. I drafted him like one of the last rounds. Really? Damn. That's why I always win a quarterback. Sonny Gray? I always get a really good quarterback late. Later on, yeah. Like I wanted to take um, Wentz, or, and, but then he was gone. So then I said I might as well just wait. And then Tom Brady didn't get drafted. Jeez, he's really? He's not a great fantasy quarterback, but still. It was like the first time ever. I've ever seen Brady not get drafted. Well, I would figure, yeah, at least draft Brady. They just run the ball like constantly. Hammer. 2019. Yeah. Not bad for a running back. Tatis Jr. Lab home run derby. Rookie. Yeah, Patriots drafted, I think, Sonny Michelle over him. He would have been awesome in New England. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> the heir to Brady is like this guy who can. He's like the fastest running quarterback. He has a good arm, too. I don't know why people to say arm, he can't yeah. throw. I mean, yeah, maybe I mean, he's. In Miami. I mean, he's a little... Look at this guy. I know, Look at him. Oh, my God. <laughs> Jeez. He fixes, like, some accuracy. Yeah. Be, like, Give him time. Right there with Mahomes. And he was at Heisman at, like, Louisville. And now Louisville's, like, terrible right after he left. So. Yeah. Like, most Heismans are from, like, big... Playoff team schools, you know. Yeah, I know. That, that's Bama the one. That's the one year that it wasn't like a big time yeah. school. It's because they weren't that good as him. That's why. Yeah. So imagine if he was on like Oklahoma or Alabama or something. Throw Junior. And now he's surpassed Baker. In the <laughs> yeah. Oh, I still think Baker will be good. His offensive yeah. line is really bad. And his coach is in that green. Right? Johnny Mize. Freddy Kitchens. Jack, this looks like a short Yeah, I think that is, maybe. Yeah, zero three five five. What's it say in the top top right on oh, no, update series? Yep, yeah, yeah, that's a five five zero yeah. uh, short print. So there you go, there's a little Jackie Robinson sharpen for the Dodgers. It's going to Mark Matheson. There you go, Mark. Some of these sell well too. Do we want to move the yeah, you want to move to the back? Yeah. Into the side. You can see all that anyways. Do it like that. Mm hmm I think that's perfect. I just put that one to the side because it's on the top. Mm -hmm. So you can put it back. Okay. Chapman. I was looking at his reaction yesterday. <laughs> He's so shocked he's smiling. Yeah, he was like, wow. Someone hit off me. I mean, he's not the worst guy to get because he, like, pointed a gun at that girl. Really? Yeah, it was, like, really bad. And then, like, yeah, he's still playing. Like, NFL, he would have been. He would have been gone already. People always talk about NFL, but baseball. And then the other guy, I think the closer for the Astros. Had domestic issues. Although, I think they get suspended. I think Chapman got suspended. I think it did though, right? Yeah. Yeah. Alright, Carter Keyboom. Probably longer suspension than Tyreek Hill. Pete Alonzo, uh, 2019. There's another Pete Alonzo right there. Ray Rice never played again, right? No, dude. I think, but see, his is like the example. Yeah. That's the messed up part. But his was really bad, though. I mean, compared to, like, Kareem Hunt, where he, like, kicked her a little yeah. bit. I mean, it's still bad, but... Stuff, yeah. <laughs> this is, like, knocked yeah, her out and dragged her. 
like what? Well, and it being on video. Makes, yeah, that's even worse. Even though it shouldn't make it worse, it does. Yeah. Because people can react to it. But yeah, Ray Rice is really good. He never played it yet. It's kind of crazy. I yeah. Care about that. And I think his wife ended up staying with him too. Yeah. I was like, man, dude. That was kind of crazy. Home run and shutout. I remember thinking Vic didn't play again, but he did. Yeah. He put in the work, he the had time. To. He was bankrupt. Yeah. Vlad. Yeah, I've been Jim Tony. Just the opening alone takes like an hour. Yeah. Opening the pack. Well, I've never I've opening for it. Yeah, I've never done the hobby, so I knew. Yeah. I think Joe told me the hobby takes a little longer because it's more cards. Hobby's Ooh, autograph. Twenty minutes. Cole Tucker. For the Pirates, it's to eighty-four retro. That's number to fifty. There you go. Pirates. That is Charles. So we got an autograph in the hobby. Yeah, Joe was like mad. He was like, man. Yeah. But I mean, I told him it happens, unfortunately. So. Yeah, it's one relic or auto. So. And I have seen some cases online that. Yeah, someone has said it happened, but kind of like you don't wish it happens. Eli Jimenez. Yeah, I kind of like. That's why I kind of prefer the jumbo. Yeah. But some people like the hobby better because they think it gets better. Um, like short prints and. Stuff. Yeah. Well, that's what they say, because I'm like, if not, I would go jumbo all the way. You get three hits. Yeah. And one autograph is guaranteed, I guess. James McCann. Well, at least that's smart. Did they always have that for update? Or for all of them? Or this is just for update? What? The code in the back? No, they have oh, is that new? a lot of their products. Oh, they do? Oh, that's yeah. good. That's how we sorted um, the last few ones. I pulled a 101 in the, I was saying, the eBay one. <clears throat> next time we do one of these big releases, um, we should have a second camera set up, and that person's going through cards and has a second microphone. Oh, too. yeah, that'd be and awesome. It's like a dual screen. 1888. Send a cut to 19, yeah. As long as you show all the hits and stuff, you know? Yeah. Just like double headers and stuff. That, that definitely works. What's up, Dennis? What's going on? Oh, you just watched the, the wagon fall? Yeah, it was pretty crazy. Watch the Mississippi, not, I think it's Mississippi State, the Bulldog get hit. That was sad. Dude. That happened this week, though? Or is that two like weeks ago, two weeks ago? I need to watch that. I forget, that's where Dak went, huh? Mississippi State. Yeah. Forget they were like 7th in the country when he was playing there. And now they're not that great. He's like the best player they'll ever have. Yeah. Which I always think, what, like, crazy how they don't get drafted higher. Yeah. NFL scouts. Jeff McNeil. Rookie. What do they call those? They don't call them silver, right? Or like they're foil? Foil, that's what it is. Rainbow that's foil, right. I think. Like uh, Ortega Whiteside got drafted before uh, yeah. McLaurin and um, I, I like McLaurin oh, right I now. Like Metcalf. Yeah, Metcalf is starting to do people really well. All set, people were so negative on him that I knew he was going to be pretty good. Like, if the public is that bad on him, then it's usually the opposite. You seen what you seen what Gus Johnson said? Yeah, he's like, look at her role, and that's a good role. I told you he was like copying on Jeez. her. He probably got before backlash. Before he even knew that... No, it was like a replay because uh, they were like, "Watch this, but guys." Did he know they were like, "Okay"? <laughs> I guess. Kind of crazy. I was like, "Man, he probably got backlash That's for that." Risky. Austin Meadows. But yeah, I mean, if you think about it, like, yeah, it happens in yeah. other sports or like horse racing. Yeah, well, like Santa Anita, all these horses. Yeah, exactly. I know Gary. Not Gary's upset because it, it, it happens, I guess, but he's just like they're using Santa Anita as an example. Yeah. I mean, I, I guess it, it does seem... It looks wrong, right? When you hear the, no, in the news. No, I mean, yeah. You're like, like 30 it, in like the like last like, three months. Like, I've never heard of it, you know? But like, I guess when you break their ankles like that, like, it's just too painful for them. Yeah. That they have to like put them down and euthanize them. 
That's like. And damn. they say the number like forty have died since December. Yeah, it's like whoa. Like, that's that, way too many. Yeah, but then he goes. It happens everywhere. It happens and it's just hush yeah. hush. But I guess yeah. now they're not like. Oh, yeah, this doesn't look good. Good Gary. Ooh, that's nice. nice one. The black. The black border sell really it's well. A Sixty-seven. One out of 67 at that. No, eBay loves that. John Gibb with the Blue Jays. Not a bad hobby case. A lot of nice stuff. Ariana Rivera. Vlad. Thanks, man. Should be done by 5.30. <laughs> I know. Well, it's been, what? So, yeah, you'll finish by 5, I think. Yeah. Well, yeah, the hobby's a little bit, I mean, the jumbo's a little jumbo's quicker. Jumbo's like 30, 40 minutes, maybe. Uh, Ty France. Plus the first, like, 10 minutes of the video were. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're randomizing. That's yeah. right. I forgot about that. We're in good time. Good time. Makes sense. I do like Gus Johnson. I like him too. Yeah. He used to do a lot of NFL, but now they stuck him to college. Well, he said like he doesn't want to do big games anymore. Oh, he doesn't? Yeah. He like doesn't oh, like dude. the bright lights. <laughs> he has a great voice. <laughs> He's like that. He gets, he gets a little too Stan Musil. But that, that's part of it. And we got a relic. It's Hunter Pence for the Rangers. Tatis Jr. See, like these two are always together. Right there. It's like four links. Yeah. So I don't know. They had talked about it, but I don't know if she's still gonna come. I'm like, oh, I hope not. He's here Friday. Does it first thing? I'm like, oh god. I was like, no. Jackie said that he wanted to like just say like F it and them to go to Dallas, but she's like no. <laughs> I'm like I would have done it. Yeah, I don't like the Cowboys really. I don't either. Did you see the Redskins game today? No, I didn't. It was like hardest rain I've ever seen. And like FedEx Field isn't really like a nice field. So uh -huh. the whole thing was mud. Really? Did just pick six that? Oh wow. This game's over. Dang it. I'm playing the ball to the I don't need Howard to score 30 points. Alright guys, we have four boxes left. This one, two, three, four. And then the rest are right here are Jumbo. You'll notice though guys that the stack is like much bigger in Jumbo. So... Then we got all the silver packs behind this stack. And then here's all the silver packs and oversized box toppers for the jumbo boxes. We'll do all those at the end of the break. So we're, we're looking at good time, guys. That should be done. Hopefully by about 5 o'clock. And I'll do a little hit recap video as well. For, you know, some of the bigger cards. The autos, the relics. Some of the bigger numbered cards, short prints and stuff like that. And again, <clears throat> give us a, like an extra day or two to sort this out, guys. Because I mean, one hobby case and jumbo is pretty long. Of course, we have a couple sorters, but just in case, you know. Slow to FY. Pete Alonzo. But again, appreciate it, guys. Andrew McCutcheon. And again, we will be penny sleeving and top loading a lot of these cards. Just to kind of go through them though, show them. All penny sleeve and top load the bigger hits for sure. Some of the ones that will be penny sleeved, of course. Um, we'll just put them in a stack over here and they'll be fine right here. Ted Williams. And again, if I missed any short prints, do not worry. Like like Nick says, our, our shipping team knows what is a short print now. 
what isn't. And they'll look at the codes in the back and see the difference. So we'll be good. If I miss anything, they'll get it right for me. Acuna Jr. Well, there you go. You don't have to worry about this one not shipping. Because this one will. <laughs> Mitch Keller. You said if it doesn't end in 01001? So this might be a short print, actually, of Mitch Keller. And then sometimes you can kind of figure out the image variations, because at least like me, I, I look at these cards, you know, throughout the whole break, and then you kind of be like, all right, that doesn't look the same. That looks a little different. 55 is a short print and 57 is a super short print. Well, let's see. This one ended in 55. So that's a short print for sure. All right. Let's finish this box up. Oh, like, like, like Trey said earlier, there's a lot of... T and I, I told you guys too, there's a lot of value in this update series. It's, it's become very, very popular. And the crazy thing is that like... <laughs> There's thousands and thousands of these the short prints and how many boxes and cases do they make of this? It's ridiculous. So it's always gonna drive the price up as the years go by. And look at that, we got one out of fifty. Hector Neris for the Phillies. Yeah, I mean, if you don't know what a short print is, the commoners just, yeah. Lad. Go Luis Arias. That's a common. Thought it was a short print. Maybe I'm not to miss a short print earlier. Oh, we got a relic right here. We got Patrick Corbin. Washington Nationals. Cal Dowdy. Tatis Guerrero. Price Harper, Cole Irvin, Eloy Jimenez. Again, anything left or right from the backside will do a randomizer at the end of the break. Shelby Miller. Our next box. Uh, he was over the line. And then we got Yasmani Grandal.
for the Brewers. Nice, you pull a Tatis out of a Prism Blaster. That's awesome. Sometimes Blaster boxes can be pretty solid. Can't be expecting the best, but you never know. I'm Mark Garrett. With Merrifield, twenty nineteen. Chargers. Oh, they lost. Uh, I don't want Ryan. Ta I don't want Ryan Tannehill to do good. I was like, screw Ryan Tannehill. I just didn't want Tannehill to do good. He said he dug No, Logan, I haven't been able to... I've been watching this, uh... Yes, so quick. This Ravens, uh... Ravens, uh... Seahawks game this whole time. Didn't really change the channel. Don't really know what the scores were. What was, this, what was the scores? Oh, they lost by three, twenty to twenty-three. Yeah. Oh well. Not oh, they got killed. Jim Palmer. He's our number to 150. Oy. All right, guys. Almost done with the hobby. What? They fumbled at the one yard line and they lost? Customer of ours, Sean Corbett, actually said he was going to be at the game today. Kind of wanted, wanted the Chargers to win just for that, too. Austin Riley to 2019. As Vlad retro to eighty four.
Excuse me. Jeez. I see some orders coming in. What, what are we doing, guys? What are we going to do after the Eagles game? <laughs> Six left there, 18, 10, 12. Uh, random pack breaks, probably. We got two of those that sold out. Patrick got a personal. And I'm assuming number three sold out straight up, so. Those are quick breaks. All right, two more hobby boxes, guys. These are the last two right here. I've actually never tried a five hour energy, but they're not good for me. No energy drinks. Just gotta push through it. Will Smith. No, I had a, even though, even, <laughs> it was funny because me and my wife were talking about this today in the morning. We're like, we're tired because we, we actually, <laughs> we, even though we had two days off this last couple of days. Uh, Willis Stargell to one two ninety nine. We've actually been doing a lot of things these last two days. We had a lot of things planned this weekend. So like Friday on my day off, had to do some eBay listings that were due for this upcoming week. Then I think I had to help my parents out with something. Then we had to go shopping really quick for some last minute clothes that we needed and shoes for. We went to Halloween Horror Nights at Universal Studios on Friday. We were there pretty much from like 5.30 when it opened for early birds till probably about 11, maybe midnight. By the time I got home, maybe like 1. Still got like maybe 8 hours of sleep, but just felt drained, you know, just because we did a lot of walking and a lot of standing in maze lines for a while. And then Saturday, I had to do some stuff in the morning. And then it, it's my wife's or my father-in-law's birthday. This Tuesday, I believe. Yeah, Tuesday, Wednesday, I believe. It lands on this year. So we took him out what? to uh, this weekend because we won't really see him during the week. Took him out to dinner. We went to actually LA Live because I took him to his first Kings game. Went to LA Live and tried the new uh, Shaquille's restaurant, which is Shaq's new restaurant. It was pretty good. It's not bad. A little pricey, but pretty cool experience. Then did the Hockey Fan Fest. So we were there like at 3.30. Brandon Woodruff to 67 for the Brewers. We were there from 3.30. Game didn't start till 7. The game ended like at 10, 11. Then went to like Avenue 26. There's a really cool taco stand. Dollar tacos. Can't beat it. Didn't get home till like midnight. 1 o'clock yesterday, so. It was like, ugh, drained. Who? No, it's like their third already. But it was pretty. It was pretty cool because like Dowdy and Kachuk hate each other, and they went at it yesterday. They did well though. Finally, I had, <laughs> Quick was like giving up like six goals a game. They, they lost. No, they won yesterday four to one. But prior to that, Quick has been horrible. Yeah. But yeah, they're they're like three five and one now. <laughs> Lucas Giolito for the Sox. Cup hockey this week, guys. On Wednesday. Vlad. Pete Alonzo. Billy Williams. And we got a relic. It's Mitt Whit Merrifield. Nolan Arenado. Brandon Rogers to 150. Ooh, first down. 
over now. Sean Anderson. All right, guys, last hobby box, and then we got the uh, jumbo. So we actually finished this in about an hour. That's pretty good for a hobby, though. Kristen Yelich. Hobby has like almost double the cards. And about like what maybe 10 minutes to do the randomizing parts so I think I'm at an hour and 16 minutes recording so probably finish about an hour it's pretty good so I should be able to finish jumbo in about 45 minutes so it should be good and then if anything guys I'll do those two quick breaks that are sold out Patrick sold out the random pack break of draft picks and then um, there's another one sold out after that then I'll take a little break Sandy Alomar. Watch a little bit of the Eagles game. And of course, if breaks fill up, you know, we'll break them during the Eagles game. No problem. You know, Pete Alonso. That's why I wanted to get the day, uh, day started early, guys. I wanted to get this break out of the way. That way, during the Eagles game, if other breaks fill, you know, I don't, I don't want this break to fill like at 5 and it just kills the rest of our night. I wanted to get this done early. That way, we still have the rest of the night to do some breaks. Yeah. I said only coming in two hours don't make a difference. Cavabigio. Oscar Mercado to add a twenty nineteen. Sergio Romo. I didn't realize he's still around. I see I think this is numbered. No, Sandy's not numbered. Vlad. Miguel Cabrera. Kristen Yelich. And Southside Warriors to 76. Johan Moncada and Yonder Alonso. Chicago White Sox with that one. Mark Matheson with that one. I remember, guys, the ho uh, hobby only has one auto or relic. The Jumbo's going to have one autograph and two relics. So Jumbo's a little bit more exciting to watch than hobby. <laughs> Pete Alonso. Marcus Stroman. <laughs> Marcus Peters had a pick six? Did he? Jeez. Oh. Uh. Should've just got that guy. <laughs> he only got traded for a third rounder. But it's because he's going to get paid, right? Uh, yeah, and it's true. I mean... Yeah. I mean, Patrick Peterson would be good because, I mean, I mean the Eagles won't be in contention for... Yeah, every year, you know? Yeah, well, hopefully Mil I haven't. I didn't realize Mills hasn't played like in a year and a half. Austin Riley for the Braves. That's an autograph. Is this red? One out of twenty-five. 
Yeah. No, but like if we if we were to trade for Patrick Peterson, like I mean, I don't expect the Eagles to be in contention every year. You, you kind of have a small window, so it's like. Yeah, so it's like, yeah, exactly. That's true. Yeah. I know, dude. I'm telling you, we should have kept Jordan Hicks. <laughs> yeah. Jackie Robinson. Are they really? <laughs> it's not even like, it's like not even the same thing. <laughs> They're like blowing it up. Jeez. Man, Peterson, Peterson looked like he lost weight. If we had Deshaun Jackson, I wouldn't be so worried. Yeah. Yeah. It's just, honestly, dude, he's going to be out for the whole year because I bet you his abdominal is never going to heal. And he's going to have to have surgery, and it's too late now. He should have had surgery right when it happened, so that way he was out for like six weeks, and he would be back already. <laughs> All right, guys, so there you go. Hobby's done with. Boom, boom. Nice. Now, let's move over some jumbo. So look, I'll put these in the back right here, actually. So these are all the oversized box loaders, box toppers, two packs, two packs, two packs, two packs, two packs, and two packs. So we'll keep them separate, just to kind of see the difference. So, and then you can still see the cases or the boxes right here. I'm just gonna scoot over a couple of them. That way they're kind of in the shot. And the other four will still be in the shot right there. All right, guys, good luck. So remember, one autograph and two relics. The medallion will count as a relic. But but for the most part, these jumbo, I, I mean, it did pretty well with the eBay one. This was pretty nice. It's not like there's something less, can't get less short prints here or anything like that. Sim, uh, both the same, just the hits are a little different. All right, so first one's Cody Bellinger relic. For the Dodgers. Oh, that's how they lost. They lost on the one yard line, they said. That looks like a touchdown. It's like when it's not your year, it's not your year. <laughs> uh, Pete Alonzo. Altuve. The littlest guy. <laughs> they had him bigger. Yeah, that's right. They should make a tops card like that. And like dual autograph it. All right, guys, a little bit more. Tanner Rourke, and there's our autograph, Elvis Luciano, Legacy of Baseball for Toronto. Blue Jays with that one.
And we got Cody Bellinger to 2019. Tatis and Vlad. Michael Chavez to 150. Vlad Rookie. Paul Dijon. Lane Thomas. Pete Alonzo. And a Pete Alonzo 2019. Nice. Griffin Canning to 150. For Rosito. Fernando Tatis to 84. Another Pete Alonso right there. Vlad. Alright, here's a medallion. It is Manny Machado. Padres. <clears throat> Padres. Who has the San Diego Padres? Terry. Medallions are heavy. And some of these medallions can be autographed too, guys. I actually pulled one. Pulled Tatis to 10. Medallion auto. It's pretty sweet. JP Crawford. Jim, what's going on, man? How is it over there with you? What's the weather like over there right now? What time is it right now over there? It's already going to be 8 o'clock, right? Or not 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock. Or no. Yeah, it's going to be 9, 9 o'clock, right? Four hour time zone difference. Sunny Gray. 842, yeah, that's right. Uh, Manny Machado. Vladimir Jr.
Oh, that's not bad. I mean, that probably feels great, right? All right, guys, next one, next jumbo. I don't know how cold it is outside today, but the beach is always like a little 10, 15 degrees uh, colder. I think it was in the 80s yesterday, where I'm at. And Fernando Tatis Jr. Relic to 150 for the Padres. Nice. And it's the out of 150, too. Fuentes. Televised and just the arena in general. Jeez. Technology. How many BGOs in this? I have no idea, Jim. <laughs> Probably like. <laughs> you gotta think there's at least like one or two in every box. At least, but I'm sure there's more. I don't think BGO is like. I guess short printed as Vlad or something. But you could probably add up like a good 40, maybe. And then obviously, some of them could be short prints or not, or some of them more. <laughs> All right, Cole Tucker. There's a Vlad. <clears throat> Eloy Jimenez and Carter Keeboom. Rookie autograph to 150. Nice. For the Nationals. Washington Nationals. That is a Aaron Thomas. Oh, nice, Jim. Cool. For update? I think we're doing an update on one of those days. David Robertson to nine, uh, 2019. David Dahl. There's a Calvin Biggio right there. Out of 150 stamp. Peter Alonzo debut. Robinson Cano.
Apparently. Roy Holiday, RIP for the Blue Jays. Alonzo. Blake Snell. This one's a 150 stamp. Nice. Commemorative medallion. 29 out of 150. For the Rays. Going to Elvis. Alright guys, four more boxes to go. Let's move over two of these. You guys can see those other four boxes. Alright, four boxes left, guys. Should be done. Hopefully. Maybe 5.15 in about 20, 20 minutes or so. 25. Bro Jr. 150 Paul Molitor. And we got a Mike Trout relic for the Angels. Nice. Game used memorabilia. John with the Angels. Tatis. Guerrero. Stencil, and we got an autograph, Sky Bolt, Athletics. Jacob Hanks with the A's. Amir Garrett to 19, uh, 2019, uh, 2019. Ooh, and then Curtis Granderson, that's a black. It's a 67. Uh, no, I don't think so. I don't think they'll, I don't think they put any prospect stuff in here. That's more maybe like Bowman, Bowman Chrome. Greatest players, Vlad for the Blue Jays. Eloy Jimenez for the White Sox.
Tyler Jimenez. And behind Garrett Cole is Tress Speaker, Boston Red Sox commemorative medallion to 150, 121 out of 150. Boston Red Sox with that one, Joseph. There you go. Tatis. Vlad. Austin Riley. And Garrett Hampson. Also Peter Alonso right there. Actually, this is the 150 one. This probably sells pretty well. Alrighty guys, almost done with this stack here. We'll have three more. We're almost at the finish line, guys. Pete Alonzo. There's another Pete Alonzo. Yes, yo, Pete, to 2019. See, he did have a pick six. Oh, he had two then. Oh, the Bowman's best one? I mean, honestly, after we get done with something like this, I mean, I'm not, it won't break, I don't think it'll break today, but yeah, like you said, a couple days. I'm assuming maybe tomorrow. You never know. Nice. Fernando Tatis for the Padres. 2019. Uh, you never know. It could actually fill maybe tomorrow. But yeah, I would just grab your spots. That's the one thing, man. If you like. If everybody knew what day it was going to break, people would be grabbing their spots now. But grabbing your spots is always much better just because you can start something that, you know, people may have thought wasn't going to break. Like, I didn't think Impeccable was going to break anytime soon. And then I think it was uh, Terry that got, like, a handful of spots in that random team. And then, boom, just filled it up. 
But yeah, that, that duel over there. Much quicker break, too. Probably only take about an hour. Carlos Santana. Maybe less. That'll be fun. Yeah, light the fuel, exactly. I mean, if you're already going to grab spots, you know what I mean? That's the thing. Like, if you're already going to grab spots anyways, I guess if you're going to, if you want to wait, you can wait anyways. But it's like, yeah. I'd be that type of guy to just grab them. I'd be the guy to start the, you know, ignite it for sure. But I understand some people rather just wait to the end when it's guaranteed to break. There's nothing wrong with that, but. Nationals to 2019. Oh, this Yelich is numbered for the Brewers to 299. Norm Van Brocklin. Baseball's like in right now though, Elvis, yeah. But football's about to be like crazy too. Prism's like, about to come out. <laughs> football's gonna start getting nuts. Vlad Retro and Shed Long for the Mariners. Seattle Mariners, Dennis. Finish off this box, and we'll have two left, guys. Ty France. Alex Bregman to 150. Uh, we have a handful of them coming, Curtis. Um, I know we have a couple of the six box masters, and then we also have some other ones coming too. But I think we're just gonna sell them like one at a time, like that. But yeah, I'll be live early that Wednesday. I kind of want to get those cut breaks going. Break some of that cup. I can't believe nobody wants to grab Vancouver. Scared money is not going to make you money, guys. You know the Canucks, we hit Elias, it's, that's going to sell for guaranteed, I'm telling you right now, no less than three, 4000 He's going to sell well. I mean, Brock Besser last year sold pretty well with like a nice two-color patch at, at over 2000 as high as three if it's a three-color. But Elias Patterson sells for crazy already. So... I know it's a little hefty price. Right on number blocks would be perfect for the Canucks, though. If I could buy in <laughs> in our own breaks, I'd definitely grab spots in that. Also, Curtis, I actually went to the Kings game yesterday. Seen that little B, Matthew Kachuk. <laughs> Tatis Jr. And, ooh, look at this. 
Thurman Munson for the Yankees, but this one's going to be gold out of 50. Nice. Yankees with that one. No, he's not, Curtis. He talks a lot, but he backs it up. No, but I'm surprised the Kings actually played that well yesterday. I do not expect them to be. I mean, it'd be cool if they made the playoffs, but I doubt it. Austin Meadows. Edward Encarnacion. Even his mom. <laughs> I know, I forgot daddy's a dad now. Yeah, he needs to calm down already. Yeah, I mean, I think the Flames have a better team than us, but it was nice. It was my wife, uh, my father in law. We took him to uh, his first Kings game yesterday for his birthday on Tuesday. We won't be able to see him on his birthday, so it was good. I'm happy that they won. Really fun goals, too. Kovacar had a breakaway, shorthanded. Defoley's goal was nice. Kovacar's was a blast. So, it was a good game to go to, at least. I was just happy they won, because <laughs> it would have sucked if they lost. Alrighty, fellas. Two boxes left. Should be done by 5.15 or so. So it did take me about two hours, guys, pretty much. I'm at 152 right now. You got to minus maybe 10 minutes for the randomizing part, the trade, trade, uh, trade talks and stuff like that, ripping open the boxes or the case. So did a pretty good time. Two minutes, uh, two hours. Trevor Story to 50. <laughs> yeah. But no, hopefully, I mean, also the, the, also, the thing that was different, Curtis, was that Jonathan Quick played like I know Jonathan Quick can play. Now, I know he's getting on the older side. He's not going to be here for that much longer. But he played really well yesterday. I mean, I'm sure you don't follow the Kings, but <laughs> dude's been giving up like five goals a game, <laughs> which is crazy. And some of them are not even his fault. He's just, what could you do? But he did some really good saves yesterday, so... That'll definitely help him out this year. His confidence to start off. And Michael Chavez. What is this? Michael just went. Red Sox. Get that cup going to be filled up by Wednesday so I could break it early. All right, next box, guys. And nice, we got a patch. Buster. Posey at a 25. Giants with that one. Mark Matheson. Halfway to what, Curtis? Of the break? Freddie Freeman. Oh, yes, that's right. Yeah, we're pretty much over the halfway, yeah. Brennan Rogers, number to 299. I think we're like, uh, what, like 15 left now? 14? Something really close.
Melky Cabrera to 67. Kevin Crone is actually a short print. Ending in 55. There you go. Got a medallion of Dizzy Dean for the St. Louis Cardinals. Terry with the Cardinals. Kuna Jr. I wish I was at this game right now, guys. I don't even mind being in Cowboy Stadium. I wear my Eagles jersey proud. Alrighty, guys. One box left. We'll do a little hit recap video. I'll do it in a separate video, too, guys. So that way I can kind of clean up and make it look nice. All right, last box, everybody. Good luck. Peter Alonso to 150. And we got a patch. Moogie Betts to 50. Boston Red Sox. That's okay though, if I miss any, don't worry. The uh, shipping team will get those. Was it an Alonzo autograph? Curtis Granderson.
Tatis, Vlad. Carson. And we got Nate Lowe. Legacies of Baseball for the Rays. That's a rookie. TB going to Elvis. Woodruff, George Springer, number to seventy six. Here's a Pete Alonzo for the Mets. There's another Pete Alonzo. Jimenez. Arnold Kuna Jr. Mel Ott, all time greats. Alrighty, guys. Yasmani Grandal. Orlando Cepeda. Ooh, look at that, nice one. Penny sleeve that right now. It's foil of Vlad. These will all be top loaded though. Just need to get some penny sleeves that ran out. Another Vlad right there. Ooh, Tatis, so a uh, foil too. All right, last little stack here, and then we'll go through the silver packs. 
And we got Reggie Jackson medallion for the Yankees. Mark with the Yankees. And there you go, guys. Nice. You did it. All right, let me get some penny sleeves, and then we'll go through the silver packs and the oversized box topper. Oh, oh it's like I'm driving for two hours. I haven't got enough. What silver cards, Raiders? ACDC? The foils? Or you mean like the silver packs? But no, the foils are not numbered. They're just odds. You're talking about the foil cards. All right, so these are the 12 packs we have right here for the hobby, or one per pack, one per box. One, two, three, four, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So we'll do the hobby ones first, and then we'll do the jumbos. Ooh, look at that right at the top. Pete Alonzo, we'll put that in a penny sleeve. JD Martinez, Randy Johnson, and Keystone. Number to 150. Brendan Rogers, Ronald Acuna Jr., Chris Paddock, and nice Chris Paddock autograph. That is a red, and it's a one out of five. Very nice for San Diego. Was San Diego again? Terry, look at that. Nice. Out of five. Walker Bueller, Aaron Nola, Blake Snell, Mitch Keller. Will Smith, Jose Canseco, Clint Frazier, Nick Sensel. Kerry Wood, Jeff Bagwell, Kevin Crone, Mike Trout. Another Pete Alonzo, will penny sleeve that. JD Martinez, Randy Johnson, and a black Will Smith. It's 199 for the Dodgers. Jeff Bagwell, Kevin Crone, Mike Trout, and Lane Thomas. Number to 199 for the Cardinals. Lane Thomas, Kevin Bezio, Bryce Harper, Jim Carl Stanton. Ichiro. Estrada, Keiston, Brennan Rogers. Will Smith, Conseco, Frazier, Nick Sensel. Keiston Uria, Brennan Rogers, Acuna Jr., Chris Paddock. I am the last one. All 
Now we got a purple. Otani, Ichiro, Estrada, and Carter Keeboom, purple. Number to 75. All right, let's go with uh, the oversized box toppers and we'll go with the six packs or the 12 packs as well. You get two packs per jumbo. All right, we got Chris Bryant. Chris and Yelich. And we got Moogie Betts. Carter Keeble, that's a rookie. And Manny, I know he wakes up the same way. Manny Machado. And the last oversized. Um, if it is, it's like a split second. No, no, if it's on my phone, yeah. <laughs> Clemente. All right, guys. Now. Penalty. All right, guys. Now two packs. Again, there'll be 12 again. Two packs per jumbo. So there you go right there. Good luck. Actually, let's all rip these off at once. I shouldn't have to do one per pack. What? A tangled feet, they said. I got to see really quick. Oh, he's already holding him. Uh, yeah, he kind of interferes with his arm. I don't know. Yeah. All right, so Pete Alonzo, J.D. Martinez, Dranny Johnson, Will Smith, Kevin Biggio, Bryce Harper, Giancarlo Stanton, Jose Canseco. Nice autograph for the Athletics. And that is numbered to 25. Tatis. And a Kerry Wood. Number to 199. Jose Canseco. Nice, we got a Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Eloy Jimenez. Mitch Keller to 150. Aaron Nola to 199. And there you go, folks. This was the break. Appreciate it, guys. Uh, in a separate video, I'll do the randomizer left or right. I'll do a little hit recap. Uh, all that good stuff in a separate video, guys. Appreciate it. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. 
Uh, get some more breaks done tonight.